we streaming? Are we streaming? I know it's in Twitch on here, let's see what happens there. That's a good idea. That would make all kinds of sense. Salt. Look at that, quick meat. I mean, are, there, are people in the chat actually responding at all? Well, there's, we can't get to the chat unless it's... Oh! So okay. chat on this Twitch. Is interesting. Yes! We're going! Great! Okay. We are large and in charge. Yay! Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, apologies for that slight um, bump earlier on there. I'm going to introduce us all again. <laughs> Excellent, let's do that. So, hello, my name is Grant Harris. I am the co-creator of Unbound, and tonight we're going to be playing Unbound in our Ghost Road setting, which is a post-apocalyptic, spirit-binding nightmare realm where people are going to try and awaken the Queen, who is an ancient AI slash ruler and commander of this wrecked burg. Joining us tonight, we have... Joanna. Paul. Oh. How do I fit you? <laughs> <laughs> we have really loud adverts that Twitch is playing. Please mute your phone. I'm trying. I'm desperately trying. There we go. <laughs> Let's try it again. We have... Joanna. Paul. Helen. Ed. Ed. Um, and me, of course, Grant. Now, um, I'll go around... I'll, uh, I'll describe the world briefly, and then we'll go around and get a brief description of everyone's characters, um, and then we'll start playing. So, uh, to give you an idea of the of the world with Ghost Road, um, hundreds of years ago the world burned, and now the land is reduced to ash, white ash, and a red sun. There are tribes of shamanistic people who are existing, clinging onto life in this dead, dry desert land. The civilization who came before bound the spirits of the dead into machinery. So uh, there, are, there are great trucks which run on captured convicts and war heroes. There are guns which are powered by the energies of the un, unquiet dead. Um, and indeed the cities which everyone lived in were powered by strange conglomerations of those spirits. And of, of the survivors, uh, some people have bound themselves to these spirits. Some people have taken on a distinct relationship and agreed to try and strive for success. And these are the bound, ironically, in a game called Unbound, but there you go. <laughs> you are the bound. Um, what we'll do, we'll start with Omega, um, because you're the leader of the gang, and then we'll go around that way. Okay, so yes, I am playing as Omega. Um, I am a effectively a cult leader, a possessor of a strange chrome helmet. Um, of past technology that um, very sensibly when my character found it he put it on his head um, <laughs> as you do Great idea. Um, it turns out that that device is actually inhabited by the spirits known as the Great Oracle um, who was one of the few uh, people in the old civilization who consciously chose to be distilled or have his, his spirit imbued into a device um, under the theory that he knew what was going to happen, everything was going to go to hell, and he wanted to survive it. So he went into this sort of all-seeing HUD-like helmet that allows him to... that gives all sorts of readouts, gives uh, long-distance sight, hearing, all that kind of thing. And uh, your weapon is your gang, right? Indeed, yes. So you don't make normal attacks. I, just, yeah. I stand there and direct my loyal servants, who are definitely not mind-controlled, not um, mm -hmm. in any way, shape, or form, uh, to make my attacks for me. Should also note as well, because this is Unbound, um, this uh, this setting was made by all the all the players you see here. We've uh, we've, we've got it on video uh, from, from a couple of weeks ago. You can access it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, it was all done live as the characters were being built. So whenever anyone mentions something, it's not from some source book they've read. This is something they've made up themselves, so it's their fault. <laughs> it's uh, also why we know it very yeah. um, so next up we have uh, so I'm playing Glass um, who is uh, um, or was originally brought up as a member of a different gang called the Iron um, who in amongst this world of sort of weird tech and spiritual items uh, they're the people who actually understand the mechanics of what's going on um, so Glass is uh, a bit of a mechanic but was uh, cast out from the Iron uh, before their adulthood ceremony where they would have been given a proper name uh, for uh, reaching beyond what was sensible uh, going for power rather than caution um, so they left and unfortunately for the iron they took their ridiculous war truck with them uh, the war truck is one of the oldest pieces of spirit bound tech uh, it's called the thundering ram um, or oh. Rami, for short, <laughs> but only to his friends Speaks and that's like basically Eeyore. glass um, <laughs> And um, the Thundering Ram was back from the very old days of soul distillation uh, when it was thought to be a great honour and it was something they did to war heroes before they realised it was genuinely quite a horrific thing to do to a human soul. 
Um, so yeah, Rami and Glass are good buddies, and they're sort of, um, they're the ones that aren't quite as under Omega's thumb as Omega would maybe like, is what we discovered last session. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> You were definitely specifically headhunted because we definitely didn't just lose the entirety of our fleet. No, yep. <laughs> that didn't happen. Um, um, yeah. So yeah, Glass has been living out for a while and has only fairly recently become a member of the Unbound. The Bound, sorry. Cool. Next up. Okay, so I'm playing Tattoo. She's a early 20s enforcer character because she has a big energy bazooka. Um, and the energy bazooka is haunted by the soul of um, a spirit called the Blinded Sun who was unjustly punished for something he didn't do and so is very angry and therefore is a weapon. Um, she wandered very young to this gun on a dare and it burnt all her hair off and um, then she got excluded from her family, went off and wandered through the wastes and when she came back she then accidentally killed all her family and then she went off and wandered again and stumbled across Omega's crew and is now working like I don't know defense for them I if memory serves she specifically only killed her fathers she oh yeah, yeah only my fathers the no the rest of the family are angry oh, I would imagine no. plus you you stole food Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you watched last last week's session... Which you should. <laughs> yeah, which you definitely should. Um, people have grudges against me. One person in particular has a grudge against me. What's his name? Halfa. Uh, yes, Halfa. Halfa. Because um, I killed his mum. Well, you, you, you stole food from his <laughs> tiny mother. <laughs> <laughs> Through indirect starvation. Yeah. Um, and then finally we have... Uh, I am Rabbit. Rabbit is the... The shaman navigator of the group. He lives in a lead-lined bunker <laughs> under the ground in the base so he can drown out the sounds of the spirits of inanimate objects like toasters and lampposts. Uh, he's connected to the spirit of the city fallen, which is the tiny spirits that run the entire city. And that gives him a kind of... Uh, the ability to see almost as if through security cameras, which is useful because he has no eyes. So he constantly sees the world and himself in third person. Uh, he lost his eyes when escaping from the slaver gang, along with a bunch of other young children. Uh, and somewhere out there, there is still the gang's leader, a man named Black Eye, who is intending revenge on Little Rabbit, who is now about 17. Oh, okay. I didn't realize he was so young. Oh, he's, he's definitely the youth member of the okay. group. Rabbit, rabbit, Aww. small and adorable. If it were Necromunda, he would be a youth. No, that was a Goblin Mocha. A juve. A juve. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's Rabbit. Um, and then, finally, what I'd, like to do, what I'd like to do, in fact, we'll do a quick recap <clears throat> of last session. So last session, we showed off the combat. Um, <clears throat> so it's, it's, about, it's about two hours, and we spent most of that doing combat, because in Unbound... Um, we have a fairly streamlined combat system, but it's fairly long. The idea is that we wanted combat to be a centerpiece. So it's not it's not a boring slog which is going on, there's a lot of choices happening round to round. But it is generally like the main event of the night. Um what happened last time is the creepers uh raided your raided your base. The creepers who are a weird biomechanical cult. Yes, they're um, the, they were the they're the main sort of agricultural Yeah. Gang, gang of memory serves and the, they are, uh, the way we just determined is they're making f sort of fertilizer out of human bodies. Yeah, and eating human bodies as well, <laughs> crucially. Um, like they are, they, they're controlling the food resources, and they, and they, they they've, they've got some excellent bone powder and that sort of thing. Um, their leader Yolanti, yep. um, or Ulanti, um, ch they charged in on their on their oh, beaten yes. up combat harvester. Combat harvester, I like that. <laughs> yeah. combat yeah. harvester <laughs> on the combat harvester. So like it's this horrible mashing. Um, Blades and sides on the front, and they're dragging behind them this sort of semi, like this this, uh, this grail silo oh. on uh, on skis, uh, which was full of. I think we just called them snufflers, but they yeah. were they were like they were like oh, uh, like the like yeah, gone wrong. yeah blind uh, mutants or <laughs> snuffling around. And unfortunately, I didn't get to kill anyone with them, which is a shame. <laughs> but there you go. Because we were just that good. You were pretty good. Um, 
Rabbit led the defense by running forward and like magicking all of the all the technology in the base to defend everyone. And yeah. all of our docking systems and all yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, you ran a lot of people over with your truck. Yeah, Glass basically <laughs> just went for all here and went, you know what? I'm going to take out the boss of the other gang. Everybody mm. else can do what they like. Blatantly yeah. yep. um, ignoring all instructions from Omega. <laughs> which was for the best, definitely. Um, Omega led his gang in, in a spirited defense, um, who eventually took down Alantu. Yep. Um, and... Uh, Tassu had a much more personal fight with how far. Like, oh, revenge vendetta. Yeah, um, the uh, the the son of a woman you killed many years ago had come back to to have a word with you. But luckily, um, once the fight was over and he had you cornered in the watchtower, um, you safely drove your massive war truck into the watchtower, <laughs> collapsing it. It seemed like the best thing yeah, to do, you know. Yeah, yeah. You were um, in it at the time. Yeah. And so he is he, he is alive and angry. But um, but out there, uh, as as is Yolanti. Yolanti is very injured. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But her her followers have taken them away, and they, and they fled, leaving the uh, the combat harvester uh, for you to for you to experiment. Which means you have another vehicle. We do. We Not do the fastest vehicle. <laughs> it's a combat harvester. But you know, it's, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We yeah. we yeah. attach it to the back of the thundering ram. Uh, do we? It's <laughs> <laughs> in like a tow truck. I'm not but, sure Rami wants anything particularly to do with that horrible thing. Oh, isn't that the thing? Literally, you have one cable, and then have Ram drag it along, and then when we actually get to where we want to go, we let it go, and we just let... So Ram is... Set. I mean, it can Could it be drive. driven? Yeah. yeah. It, it does have most of power. It can't move at the same speed as Rami. Exactly. But if you tie it to Rami... Like I don't think combine harvesters are used to going that fast. Yeah. So it's like, so, so like, like that's the thing. Like if you, if you make Rabbit a tinfoil hat so he can't hear it scream, he'll drive it. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, so Rabbit, um, tell me about the ghosts that's powering this thing. Because I was in my oh, yeah. yeah. straight mechanical. Oh great! Well, let's have a let's have just like a, a miniature scene. Oh, oh yeah, I've got a great idea. Do it, do it, do it, do it, okay, cool. A yeah. miniature scene. So okay, so um, the stakes for this scene. I'm gonna go dramatic scene. We'll go um, three failures before three successes. Cool. Basic one. Um, on a success, it likes you. Mm. Oh no! Nice. On a failure, it doesn't. Great. Still gonna, it'll still work for you. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, but cool. it's going to be displeased and probably act yeah, cool. up. Have to yeah, make so, it work for us. So there is the there is the, the 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 shimmer of heat around the base as the as the sun is because it was, it was dawn raid. And the yeah. sun's now coming up properly. Um, the uh, the air is crack dry and hot. It's almost impossible to breathe out here. But you you're used to it certainly. Um, and it's quite hard to see the combine harvester right here because there's not a lot of cameras. So like you're getting a lot of bad shots from redirected cameras of you walking out. Just like imagine yeah. that it's like ticking through like security footage if we're, if we're doing the, the cinema. cinema. Um, but you can see spirits. Well, like you can sense spirits certainly yeah. more more so than other people can because of the way you're you're bound up. It's possible to sort of sense the world in spirits like a like a badly made three D game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 like like, like wireframes. Yeah, as if some of the walls are glitching out and you can't see them. You know, invisible walls in right, computer yeah. games. Yeah. Right, Sometimes yeah. I walk into an invisible wall that is just a wall. Yeah, um, just kind of clipping through it, but you can yeah. kind of see the other side. Yeah. yeah, the wall doesn't have a spirit, so I just see the lamppost on the other side yeah. of it, and you know, I tend to walk around feeling my way. Cool. Okay. Um, anyone else can come along and help yeah, if you'd like. Yeah, I was going to say, like, like uh, <laughs> possibly as a, yeah, as a yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, I, I think Glass is quite protective of Rabbit. Yeah. As well as Rami being interested in what the heck this thing is. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas, uh, I'm simply just going to say, Rabbit, Glass, take a look at that thing. Mm. <laughs> What's that expression? What, as, the, as they're already walking out, yes. Yeah. They yeah. followed my <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going to say, you're probably getting a large middle finger over I, Glass's yeah. shoulder. I think for the sake of his, uh, for his gang, he would give that order. Yeah, exactly. They're already yeah. doing it, just, you know, to keep yeah. up. Ah, uh, yes, as I suspected, they've gone to Okay. <laughs> I mean, in fact, actually thinking about it, everyone in the gang, probably including you as well, yeah. except these two, hears that particular order. Because <laughs> I can determine who can hear it, because they all hear it in the head. Oh, it's all yeah. telepathic. Oh, yeah. right, okay, cool. cool. Yeah, okay, cool. Nice. So there you go. I'm not yeah. horribly offending you, because yeah. I know that would... Have... Yeah, I, I think probably you two get something a little more, as a case of, this looks interesting, is it useful? That kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. So are we, like, we're right in the aftermath of the battle, so yeah. we've got... So like, corpses around oh yeah, yeah. the place. Oh, yeah. so like, everybody else is dealing with that. People are putting out fires. Like yeah. there, uh, there are very few defenders killed. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't. I don't think like, anyone from your gang actually died. Yeah, I um, think we actually got away. So uh, there was definitely a lot of 
damage um, yeah. to the actual setup, but I don't yeah. think we actually lost anyone. There's people um, running around putting yeah, out fires. I, yeah. uh, there's I think there's a guy who's bound to fire, and he's like he's these blow torching stuff back together and like trying to weld it in. And I think the, the watchtower. Yeah. The other thing I think <laughs> the, everyone's just staring fire. at the watchtower like that. <laughs> I, get, <laughs> I have gone away from there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with me. As a little future plot hook as well, because I can remember some of the the things <laughs> I've got. Um, I think they definitely a few of them made a beeline for our um, our food storages. Yeah, and definitely. Torched yeah. It. And oh was, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So, uh, rabbit led by glass. Yeah, I think like um, we almost end up in the same place at the end of the fight. So I'm just gonna kind of pick you up. And yeah. Sit you next to me in the cab. Like it's a it's a convertible at the moment. Well, we'll... It was ripped. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. She got her, she, the, the horrible. Got the like Lindsay got her in. long extendo closet oh, and ripped yeah, everything off. Yeah. So yeah. The, uh, the combine harvester was left at the gate. Pretty much it? at the yeah. gate. So, so yeah. we might as well walk over to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with you guiding me by the arm, it's quite easy to get there. Yeah. Uh, and it's quite easy to walk towards it anyway because it's a huge blue shimmery yeah. thing. It's like you can feel like... <laughs> yeah. You can feel... It's, it's like, like, like like a whale's heartbeat. Yeah. Nice. You can feel. It's yeah. partly because the engine's going, so it's exciting. Yeah. Right yeah. 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 Um, and uh, Rabbit walks up to it gingerly uh, it, it can't move or do anything on its own but it's as if he's scared of it mm. doing something yeah. psychically well because it, it's, it's, it's got the, the capacity to make the, the combine harvester go oh, yeah. Yeah. so that, that, that's kind of like whirring and jumping so back and almost forth. like taming an animal yeah. he walks towards cool. it to touch it on the blades cool. of the harvester that sounds good yeah great let's go <laughs> <laughs> draw well nah, nope oh, oh, oh wait what's um, um, two your foundation no, two, 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 two two okay okay cool that's one failure um, you, you reach your hand forward, and uh, it, it like it's it seems calm, and then like you place your hand, and it jerks, and it cuts a uh, like a slice up your palm. Um, oh dear. Yes. Okay, back away. <laughs> um, rabbit in in response to this adapts his approach. And uh, takes the stick from his belt and beats it. Oh, yeah. like, nice. yeah, cool. to yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see this. Oh, another failure. So yeah, I, I drew a ten oh. and yeah, ten to nine. Oh, that nine. is. <laughs> yes, yes, more, more hungry. And um, as you as you grab, is, is that like a wooden stick? What's the deal with it? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. Look at, yeah, it's like meshed in half by the by, by the things. It's like. Like drawn inside. Okay, Rabbit's oh. freaking out now. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay chill, kid. Yeah, I'm Let's just gonna get put an let's... arm on your shoulder and it's like, calm down. Rabbit. We'll handle it. Rabbit. Glass Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. Open the silo and put them in. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I walked all the way here. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop up into the cab okay, cool. while this is going on. It's. Filthy in there. Yeah. It's like uh, um, it's like it's not like like cracked and filthy. It's like potting shed filthy. Yeah. Like just a load of crud that's been thrown in there, and like it's it's a communal vehicle, so everyone gets in, everyone drives. There's no yeah. like this is my vehicle, my seat, and it's just, yeah. yeah. So there's there's the, there's the load of caked up like of, of like old mud and um, various like there's there's a there's ivy growing up the inside of it, but part of it's dead and yeah. Um, and there are, um, I don't know what sort of lever is it. Uh, I'm imagining like tank controls. Yeah. So it's got like big old levers. Yeah. Um, and you push both forward to go forward, and yeah. that'll take you that way, and that'll take you that way. Probably, yeah. probably a middle one to sort out gearing. And, and, yeah. and there's all sorts of things which you, which you can flick to make the uh, to make the, the blade go. But they've they've been removed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just completely like. Uh, like yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, yes, they've not been welded up. They've just been ripped out completely. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, so I'm going to try and power it down because this thing's obviously angry and I'm literally just going to yank from under the dashboard oh, to cool. try okay, and yeah. break wherever it's been hot wired. Okay. Um, Go on, glass. That's, that's slightly promising. better. That's good. Yeah. 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 Jack, I got a five. Jack, yeah. Um, there's a... Yeah. Um, like you anti hot wire it. Basically. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> breaking um, the connection that's keeping it on. Um, so Not like, wire. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Man of the match. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, that works. There's a um, there's a juddering halt yeah. as the blade stops spinning, um, and all the like the what little lights there are inside dim, and like the the engine dies down. Yeah. Okay. Down your cranky thing. 
It's a bad one. <laughs> yeah, we figured. Mm-hmm. Um, you want to try again from up in here? You got the control of it from in here. Give me a moment. Okay. I'm just going to take a look around in this thing cool. first. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and examine the, the, the inside of the vehicle whilst the oracle is whispering like, in like, my Like ear. the cap or yeah. like the machinery? In uh, Mostly the machinery. Um, okay. I'm trying to get the, the oracle to kind of identify what sort of vehicle it is and therefore what kind of spirit would have been sealed well, That's in true because we totally don't know yeah. what a combine harvester is. Like, mm-hmm. This, oh, is, this is just yeah. some weird truck with a mashing blade. Yeah. Yeah. This is a war truck. Yeah. Yeah. That's I really great. It was... But the old guy in my head who does have yeah, cool. totally and you know you know war trucks as well. You know this isn't a war truck. Yeah, right? I so know this, this is, is a... it's not military. Yeah. Cool. Okay. okay. Let's go. That's Joker. Oh. That's the one that kills Scar you. Scar Joker. Yeah. yeah. That's the one that kills you, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, listen. You can only. Draw, like, I don't think it's possible to fail this. What? Um, which is great. What foundation are you using? Uh, the knowledge of the ancients. Yeah, that so, seems reasonable. No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Paul could have instantly died there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, that's so yeah. So part of uh, yeah, the game been. is that you scar cards, but yeah, we can which show means that. you scribble all over the cards. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you scar a Joker, Jokers are like modifier cards. So mm. when you draw a Joker, you draw another card on top of it, which makes it either really good if you succeed or really bad if you fail. Mm. And in this particular instance, really bad means instant death. Which is really easy if you're if you're poking around the, the middle of a yes, combat. <laughs> Gives me some sort of blade. <laughs> some sort of I powered think, blade arrangement. I think this device was for harvest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, cool. Okay, so um, the oracle. So uh, get, boss. The oracle. Um, it's like, oh, it's, it's, what, I think. What, what, what does oracle sound like? I think he just sound like you. He yeah, yeah he sounds exactly yeah, like cool, me. And cool. I think this is actually a point where he'd steal my voice and yeah. just start talking to them yeah, as cool, though it was cool. me. Ah, yes, this is a very interesting piece of. What's up? What it's, do you see? It's very powerful, certainly. It's, uh, I believe they've put their god in it. Right. Um, it's not entirely uh, unheard of to like to rebind stuff, or like if, if you know what you're doing, you can you can like conglomerate stuff, like the way the queen was made, like the way you right. have, have the spirits yeah. of the city. Um, they've been worshiping this thing and feeding it. Yeah. Um, and. It's been kind of their church and their battle vehicle. Are the snuffler soulless? Oh, wow. They are, no. It doesn't matter about souls. All it wants is nutrients. Oh, you mean for like... Oh, like the yeah. 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 Have they been distilled and these, is that they're what like that the remnants chamber on the but back functional? Is. Yeah, why not? Sounds good. Yeah. good Maybe yeah. combined with a ritual, you know? Yeah. yeah. But it's a place to hold them while you do the binding. They, they, get, they get buried underneath the ground. Perhaps. Oh, and then, cool. and then the, ones that claw them, the ones that claw the way back up are... Um, Oh, oh, that, oh I really nice. like that. Cool. The idea that maybe the version of distilling that we have has a chance of not being quite complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, it can be yeah, partial. And I, like, I, I also like the fact that the um, creepers are the only ones who know how to do it. Yeah. Alanti was the only one who managed to come back. I was gonna say normal. She's a she's a she's a, she's a harvest Sentient. she's a harvest witch okay. with uh, magical nails. Was but um, was no, no, she she's still, still alive. Still, yeah. yeah, she got horribly oh, impaled, but she, she crawled off. We weren't getting rid of her that quick. She wasn't super cute. Oh yeah, she okay, did get yeah. a bit of a nail. Trick. Oh yeah, you hacked off with a machete. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, if memory serves, she got dropped on a chainsaw. It was something. No, it, it, was, it was spikes. Yeah. Isn't the Harvest Queen some American tradition? Let's not go there because I imagine it's very very different from what we're trying to picture right now. Although equally creepy. Think of home. <laughs> Homecoming. Homecoming. Homecoming queen. I think or the Harvest, harvest Festival like, harvest, There is definitely harvest, harvest festivals. I think even in British tradition sometimes, sometimes have a queen. queen. Like, yeah. I think, like, and also like, you'd have like a cider queen. Earth mother symbolism. Like down, down yeah, south when you, when you pour cider onto a tree for the first harvest, you'd have someone who was, you know. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, Chris actually. Um, if, he, if he's in chat. He is in. Chris, yeah. you should tell everyone about the weird cider festival <laughs> where you grew up. The fascinating. I was going to say, Chris actually was a harvest queen. <laughs> he, was, uh, uh, he really went downhill. You also have an admirer as well. Oh, who's this? Um... Trivia lad. Oh, hi, trivia lad. How you doing? <laughs> his, his exact quote, quote is, Grant is looking very handsome tonight. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you very much. I actually can't see people talking in the chat, okay. so my chat is obviously hey. deficient. Um, no, I, I, I know trivia lad. He just came to my wedding. <laughs> so, no, so he knows I'm married and keep it, keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, to let the stream know, like, Chris will definitely be managing most of your questions. He's, he's a very charming and evolving fellow. Um, but I do have the chat down here, so yeah. if you desperately want to get our attention, 
We'll see it eventually. We will see it. We'll see it eventually. There is a bit of a delay. Grooming. As Twitch does. Cool. So, um, you have you have the god. Mm. Um, Did we get three successes? Oh, yeah. yeah, you got three successes and two failures, so it's very close. Ooh. It all came down to Paul. Um, oh yeah, because I got a joke. Didn't yeah. I? yeah. So, oh, so of course. It, it doubled up. So yes, the um, nice. what was it? The I, I need this helmet to live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. In that, I like to imagine that if you'd failed, the helmet is perfectly. It's, the per- helmet is absolutely fascinated with this thing mm-hmm. and does not mind if you get eaten. Just feed yep. you to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's interesting. Interesting. Take, take me off and walk forward. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, put me on that dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, so. <laughs> so you've got their god. Uh, I'm going to call it the hunger. Oh, no, the harvest. The harvest. Oh, the harvest is yeah. Good. We have the harvest. The hungry harvest. <laughs> hungry, hungry harvest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hungry horse. That, the, hung, the hungry harvest sounds a bit like a roadside restaurant. It does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, there's a play area outside, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's called the harvest. Um, it is their god. It is, their, it is their nightmare amalgamation of something, although it's really buried, and, e- and e- even um, the ancient can't tell. And some other shit, like whatever. <laughs> what, it's, it's, it's the equivalent of compost. Right, <laughs> and, th- and this has grown out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Spiritual compass. Um And like Alanti could talk to it, and th- like the others weren't so good at that. Um, yeah. But also, like it had farming knowledge. I was gonna say, yeah. I've got this horrible feeling that the original soul was just a, a avid farmer who maybe skimped on his taxes. Or yeah, hundred like percent. Like, yeah. uh, like, um, like his his tithe wasn't enough oh. to bring in the uh, for for the yeah. queen. And so he was he was bound into a um into a into combine harvest to work yeah. harder next yeah. time. Oh. Yeah. Um. But now, he's now he likes you. Oh god! I'm wondering if, since he likes us, he likes you. He w- he wants. <laughs> I mean, he wants us to put things in his oh, no. back, and we've got all these bodies. Like, yeah. Maybe just to keep him on side, we should. Uh, the bodies, yeah. No, the that's body, what he's. That's fine. Yeah. That's what he's whispering. They're we still. Need... They're not only just dead. They'll still be just sold. Just make sure to harvest the bones from them first. The bones were the currency. Oh yeah. Oh god, you got finger bones, finger don't bones you? Finger bones is the currency. Yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll say just finger bones rather than all yeah. bones. That's, that is an involved process. <laughs> yeah. You at least need a butcher for. But I can still yeah. imagine us referring to them as just bones. Yeah, like, yeah. like you, you, you can laugh off the hand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, like uh, that, that's already happening. Your gang are going around. Say, yeah. I'm just like throwing <laughs> that's them. That's the drill. Yeah. So yeah, um, the, the, the gang are getting ordered to to hurl the remnants into the the back of. Uh, the harvest. Fantastic, yeah. So is it's the front of the harvest, I presume? Because if, if it's got oh, the, yeah, actually the front, it'll, it'll yeah. have the, the front. Yeah, and it's, yeah. And it's like, I'd like to imagine that over the years, like it's it's mutated and gotten weird and like the weird symb- symbiotic relationships. And normally it'd be used to cut the tops off corn. Mm-hmm. And this is now for like tearing down walls. So yeah. you can like, with, you can carefully, it's like a wood chipper. Yeah. You can sort of <laughs> shove them in. And it's, mm. it's disgusting. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, like it's going into a hopper. It's not like it's flying out like a wood no. chipper. It's going in. And yeah, like <laughs> something. What it wants is souls, mm-hmm. yeah. but meat is just as good. It will take meat for um, now. because this is this is this is feeding it, and yeah, it's, and it's like um, you've, even though you've ripped out the uh, the the ignition, the lights are still sort of yeah. flaring. This is excited. Thank you. <laughs> Rabbit touches it on the on the blades again. Glass, can you repair God, God. what you did? Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I think what I'm actually going to try and do is make a. Um, I kind of want to give Rabbit control of it, like so it's got switch. an on-off switch, yeah. effectively, rather oh, than having cool, to yeah. move okay. it every You know time. what? Draw me a. Sing- I- I'm going to call. I'm going to call it incredibly hard. Okay. It's going to be one success before three failures. That's incredibly easy. Wait, the other way around. <laughs> no, it'd be incredibly Jesus. easy. Okay, yeah. Basically, I'm going to do, I'm going, I'm going to do one and one. Yeah, sure. I'm not going to tell you what I get. Okay, cool. That's rubbish. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah. like you fit a, a um, you yeah. fit a, a kill switch. Yeah. In there, which if needs be, um, what does it look like? Um, it's it's literally a chunk of metal that has two positions. One of which is labelled off, probably quite optimistically because I drew a four. Yeah. <laughs> like this is this this like, this has been a lot of this isn't machinery anymore. Yeah. Or like it doesn't make sense. Yeah. 
like it shouldn't function. It should like this thing shouldn't drive forwards. Yeah. But it's powered by spirits, which is not your forte. Yeah. Like Rami is if you took the ghost out of Rami, yeah. you could power me petrol. Totally functional. Like a lot of a lot still. of petrol. Yes. <laughs> but um like that would function. Um but this is like this is just ghosts now. Like it, yeah. it probably doesn't need petrol. I reckon yeah. the spirits, you know how the centre of the city has the twist in it. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes these can create localized twists. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, that's what's yeah. going on in the back of it's the city. It's getting weirder and weirder. It just, just, yeah. There's an area that was once a motor and is now